Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This episode, we'll be dealing with our first of the seven virtues, prudence. Like most of the virtues, there's some confusion floating around as to just what prudence is, so in this episode, we'll hopefully clear some of that up. To start with, the word prude is being used a lot as a kind of a schoolyard insult right now. However, it has nothing to do with the virtue of prudence. It just means somebody who I think is stuffy and unwilling to have fun in the same way that I have fun. The people using it mean for it to have about the same meaning as loser or killjoy, and it really has nothing to do with prudence. Another common misunderstanding of prudence is caution, but prudence isn't the same thing as caution. You see, when you talk about making a cautious decision, you're talking about a method of decision making, a cautious way to make your choice. However, making a prudent choice is about the end result of your decision. What is it you decide on? There's a prudent option and an imprudent option. So caution and prudence are two different things. Aside from these, there are three definitions kind of floating around which this word is often used for. Definition 1. Never taking action quickly or harshly. Definition 2. Being clever when taking action. Definition 3. Taking the most appropriate and wise action given the circumstances. Again, let's go to the scriptures to see what we can learn about this virtue. But the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom, nor is there prudence where sinners take counsel. Sirach 19.22 However, sinners can definitely be clever when taking action, so obviously definition two isn't correct. We can cross that one off. There we go. Now, next up. A son who gathers in summer is prudent, but a son who sleeps in harvest brings shame. Proverbs 10.5 This verse is pretty clear. If there's something you ought to be doing, and you do it at the proper time, you're being prudent. But if you lay around and do nothing when you ought to be doing something, that's not prudent at all. Because of this, we know that prudence isn't the same thing as not taking action quickly. And there. But is prudence really about taking wise actions? Well, the simple believes everything, but the prudent looks where he is going. Proverbs 14.15 The simple acquire folly, but the prudent are crowned with knowledge. Proverbs 14.18 There are many other verses like these describing prudence. Taking all of them into consideration, what is prudence? Prudence isn't an excuse to do nothing while the whole world grows worse and worse. It's about doing what's truly best under the circumstances, and sometimes that involves rattling some egos around a little. People need to be prepared to exercise prudence by acting with careful wisdom and doing their best to do right by God and man regardless of the personal cost to themselves. Again, prudence isn't about just being clever. You can be clever by denying God and righteousness and getting into the good graces of a powerful figure in the world. But unless you acknowledge the reality of God and objective morality in your judgments, it's not real prudence, and it's certainly not a real virtue. Prudence is only prudence when it's directed towards doing right, or doing good most effectively. This is a virtue that comes up not only when deciding between good and evil, but when deciding between two different good things that you could do. Prudence can help to guide the other virtues, and even to drive them on when it's used right, just so long as we never use it as an excuse to loaf around and just wait for things to work themselves out. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.